All right, here we go. Sailcore banning out the Draven. First ban. Definitely a strong lady carry in the bot lane. What do you think about that, FB? The Draven ban? Yeah, no, Draven... I don't know I don't know anything about either of the teams, but, but Draven's a, a good ban, especially with with players of, of this high elo. Yes. Yeah, Draven can really bully around any AD, any bot lane, really. A good Draven especially if you get, like, a good support combo. Mm -hmm. And the Callista ban coming out. One more AD carry ban. Kind of surprising to see the Callista, because I'm not sure if anybody on Pumpkin Spice plays Callista very much. I guess RAPC is Dinko, but I believe that Zero Tall, Zero Tall will be the AD carry player for this game. Uh, you have to wait and see. I, I have some knowledge of Pumpkin Spice, but they're trying to change things up by now, so we'll see what they do. Ari and Nidalee ban coming out. Nidalee a very strong jungler, Ari a strong mid laner. Nidalee also good in the top and mid lanes. And a Vi-Ban coming down. <clears throat> Waiting for Durkhan 16's third and final ban, and then we'll get to the picks. Annie Ban. Banning out Zelcor's support Annie. Zelcor going for the Rek'Sai. Strong jungler right now. Able to, with that, uh, the vision that she gives. Um, and also the map pressure. The global map pressure. And in team fights, just so much damage pro Rek'Sai. Yeah. Really surprising. Oh, we will see a Jarvan in response. Another really uh, top tier jungler. Yeah, pretty. It pretty much seems to be Jarvan, Rexai, and, and Vi as the top three junglers right now, huh? Yeah. Jurkin sixteen trolling around with his picks, waiting for something. We'll see. An Alistair. Fresh. Fresh picked up for uh, Titsur OP. Morgana. Oh no, will Hinesport go for the Mordekaiser? I thought they were going to take it a little bit more seriously this game, but they might do their their Mordekaiser strat, metal comp. Have you, uh, have you casted their previous games this tournament? No, I haven't casted any of their games yet, but I've seen the, uh, the uh, match histories. Okay. And what they normally do is Heinz Ward runs Mordekaiser mid. And then they, uh, I don't know. I don't know how they went with Mordekaiser, but they do. <laughs> and they run a Rengar top lane, and I guess it's just like Mordekaiser ult somebody, and then Rengar kills them, and then they get a ghost. And that's like how they win. Oh, uh, okay. But it looks like they will be a little bit more try hard this game. I have not seen any of Titsuro P's games, but they are clearly a good team. They are in the quarterfinals, or the round of th or the round three, I mean. It, it, yeah, the quarterfinals. <clears throat> no, it's called round three for some reason. It's not called quarterfinals. Oh, okay. I don't know why. Actually, I think in the rules it's called quarterfinals, but in the bracket it's called round three. I don't know. <laughs> gotcha. This will be an interesting bot lane if, if uh, that Gragas. crit goes with Graves. Gragas? Gragas has one of the lowest thread rates of any champion right now. 
Yeah, I think I think his highest win rate is at support, but they already have a thresh. I'm pretty sure he's not good mid lane and top right now. He's in well miserable mid, terrible mid laner. I don't think that Gragas has any good matchups mid. And a top is has been seriously nerfed. Very surprising to see that pick. He does bring a lot of disruption though, so it could work. How well does that synergize with Jarvan though? Yeah, I don't know about that. You kind of like you get cataclysm and then you knock them all out of the cataclysm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh my okay. God, the Fiora CS Dinko, <laughs> bringing it out. For those who do not know, Fiora, I am a Fiora maid. <laughs> yeah, this is you're probably most excited for that pick, huh? Yeah, I don't know where the Fiora will be going, but uh, but we will see how the matchup goes. Jax is still available, very strong against Fiora, but it looks like we will see a Gragas top. And a Zerath mid. Yeah. Now this could be a Lissandra top and a Fiora mid. Definitely not. Um, oh, what? Wait. Is this a Morgana top and a Lissandra support? Nah. No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was going to say, that would be uh, interesting. I've seen sure. Zelcor run more got a top before, so I wasn't rolling it shocked. out. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so Nipplebot in the top lane, I guess, with a Gragas against Zelcor's Lissandra. And then Durkin 16 in the mid with a Zerath against a Fiora. Now, uh, the Fiora matchup against Zerath is pretty good, uh, especially at early levels. Yeah, the Zerath needs to take heal. And I think that he might be able to survive the lane, though. Um, but we'll see how, how, how Stinko plays it. Yeah, I was going to say, how does, how does that work for Zerath? You... you... Try and poke them out and just don't get all in, or? Yeah, if you basically get all in, like, pre-level 3, then she just kills you. Uh, level 1, you can survive pretty easily, especially with heal. But if uh, Susdinko plays the auto the uh, combo correctly, then it, you basically take Xerath to half health with one combo. Okay. You are a really high damage mid-champion, but easily ganked. So we're going to see if Hydra Sniper tries to turn this mid lane around for Durkin 16. Generally why she's playing the top lane is because there's less ganks there. It's, it's, it's just a... Also she has better matchups against melee champions. Yeah. And in the bottom lane we have Zeratol and Taros. Got the Jinx and the Morgana against Drink the Weed and That Crit. That Crit is a sub for Titsuro P. Drink the Weed, the 3,000-something games player here on Titsuro P, on Graves, one of the strongest AD carries. Really hype about this bot lane, actually. This should be a really good lane. <clears throat> Just another minute and a half on the spectator delay.
All right, we are into the loading screen. Nipbot switch into teleport. Durkan 16 taking a heal. Drink the weed on heal. No ignites on the side of it's her OP. So gonna have some problems with life steal and sustain in the late game. I guess Sarath could build Morella Namicon, so I could be wrong. He will probably build Morella Namicon. <clears throat> and Gragas could too, actually. But I, I kinda doubt Gragas will go Morellos. I think that the current Gragas build is very tanky. And uh, along with Rod of Ages. But you never know with Nipplebot. Never know. RIP Siostinko starting with Crystal and Flask and a Mana Potion. I highly recommend this start with Fiora in the mid lane. Uh, you can also go Lone Sword and Three Pots if you're more worried about the matchup, but Crystal and Flask is really good. Especially against a kind of pokey lane like Xerath. RIP Siostinko starting off with Lunge. Zelcor also starting off with his Ice Shard. In fact, every single one, except for Terras, of Pumpkin Spice has already leveled an ability. Nipplebot also already leveling the barrel roll. Uh, if you're back, by the way, you're still muted, so, so you know. Minions have spawned. Some wards going down on Pumpkin Spice's side's jungle. But both teams get an early blue ward, able to ascertain where the junglers are going to be starting. We're going for the Krugs. Where, well, Hydra Sniper goes for the Raptors. Very interesting. See Stinko looking for an early engage here. Hydra Sniper still has Smite up after doing Raptors. I guess he got a nice leash from the mid lane and Nipple Bot. Nipplebot's XP did not suffer. Very interesting. Well played by, uh... <clears throat> by Titsuro P. Gonna be an early level 2 here. RIP Sustinko will get ganked. Oh, but... Is gonna get out. And Zerath is very low. Could fall almost instantly to a Fiora engage here. Very close lane. Nipplebot and Zelcor trading up in the top. Right. Nipplebot a little bit lower. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah, no problem. Um, no, this bot lane's interesting. Um, because both both combos have a lot of kill pressure. Pretty much if, if Thresh lands a hook, uh, but the... Uh, Pumpkin Spice is in a lot of trouble, and if Morgana lands a bind, Jinx can just drop her traps down, and it's it's like a five or six second. It's a, it's a really long combined snare. Well, gank on the top, like Nipplebot might fall here. Oh my god! Oh, turned it! Oh my god! Oh this my! This is double kill for Nipplebot. Wow. What a turn! Zelcor and Hyde's were just not played off the gate correctly. Yeah, that was that oh, was not oops. played very I well. Change this. I'm gonna change the order. I normally do this. I apologize. The pass 
massive on the Gragas. Coming up huge. Yeah, that's uh... We, we had a lot of questions about the, the Gragas top pick. This will definitely help him out. Yeah. Wow. Double kill, first blood. CS is 22 to 9 in favor of, of Gragas as well. He might make Gragas into a relevant champion. <laughs> We're, we're, we're five minutes in, Gragas has already 1k gold up on, <laughs> on Lissandra. Comes back with a catalyst right away. Oh my god. Rek'Sai waiting in the wings here in the mid lane. But decides not to go for a gank that probably would have failed. RPC Stinko, close to six. Looking for an engage. Hydra Sniper comes in on the bottom lane. Zero Toll is in a tough spot. Ooh, Terrace drops the uh, Black Shield a little bit early there, I think. If Thresh had waited, I think that he could have gotten the hook. Yeah, I agree. I, I think <clears throat> that that's... Morgana's play here will, will be key to bot lane, you know, depending on the Black Shields, can, can make or break the lane. Deer Toll getting caught up. Oh, Graves might fall. Oh, teleport in from uh, Gragas. Lissandra falls is a little late. Oh no, Lissandra! And everybody does not gets fall out alive. E. For tits or OP. Huge plays by tits or OP. Nice teamwork. I, I'm very surprised that they all got out. Oh no. Here comes oh, here a level comes 5 Fiora. Fiora. Could easily get level 6 off a of kill here. Oh no. So Fiora she, picks uh, up the first she's kill there. just a little there. short of XP. For level 6. Yeah. Excellent <clears throat> lunge there by RAPC Astinka. Definitely a player to watch. And there we go, we see Fiora is 6, does not have Ignite though, so probably will not be able to burst Jirkan 16 in the mid lane. Up in the top lane, the CS difference has uh Come back to yep. about even, but there's a big wave that Gragas is clearing right now. And Gragas is just unkillable with the Catalyst and uh, Dorian's ring. Too much sustain, too much health. Yeah. Jarvan playing on his red buff, Heinz Ward doing the same. Looks like both junglers will look for ganks pretty soon. Side. Yeah, that pink ward didn't last very long, maybe level about a minute. Level 5 to Jarvan's level 6, so get a level a little bit here. Yeah, I think I think it was tough uh, giving up first blood top lane, losing double buffs and some time to clear camps. Team at for Fiora in the mid lane. 69 CS to 42. Yeah, nine minutes in. That's that's good. Pretty huge lead. 
Yoda looking for a realm up top. I will get spotted by a ward here. Nipplebot uses his E. Oh, oh. Zelcor! That forces out the flash there for an ult, so... It's not, not a horrible on, trade. Not on his game that time. Oh, good counter gank there from, from Jarvan. Ooh. RPC Stinko falls there. Getting a little bit too aggressive against the Jerkin 16 in the mid lane. <laughs> Hydra Sniper having trouble here with... Here's my fall. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Dirk at 16 yeah. alts to kill them. Hydra Sniper definitely underestimated the power of that camp there. Tits are OP. They're, they're fourth death. No, they're. Wait, no, they're second death. Four deaths for Pumpkin Spice. Dueling Hydra Sniper here. It's Cataclysm. And it's just gonna jump right out. Teleport coming out for Lissandra. and uh, Nipple Bot. Both TP and down. I wonder if we'll see a drag attempt. They've got all five here. I think they're gonna try and force it, but. Hines Ward is low. This is dangerous. Hydra Sniper also low. RPC is Dinko. Does have a team that. Oh, they're going in. RPC is going to pick up the kill and drink oh, wow. the lead. Easy fight! Wow! Wow, a clean 5 for 0 ace <clears throat> and dragon there After for that Pumpkin Spice. Early lead there for. Uh, for Titsur LP, you'd think that fight would have been more difficult for Pumpkin Spice to win, but the early Lissandra ult just uh, brought it off right. And RPC Stinko picked up an easy kill in the graves with uh, not enough peel from the Thresh. That's interesting. It was, it was pretty much a 5 for 3 ace because you had, uh, you had Morgana and... Uh, and Rek'Sai both still fighting Dragon when when uh, Zelcor went with the Lissandra ult. RAPC is Dinko showing the strength of Fiora mid. Zero Toll rushing the uh, Berserker Greaves also on Jinx, which is which is interesting. Oh wait, did, wait, what? He rushed the Berserker Greaves? Yeah. Before like, before like anything else. Before I, I, I he might have had a he might have had a pickaxe, but oh okay. He finished the Berserker Greaves before, before I. Before I, yeah. Which... Well, if you have enough gold for it, it's uh, I think it's worth. Like not enough gold for the uh, for the crit cloak, but enough for the but enough for the berserk cruise. Yeah. All right, PC Stinka looking for more kills. Going yeah, around. Blue there. buff is up, and it's going to be stolen here by Pumpkin Spice.
And easy kill for our PC Stinko there on the Jargon. He picks up double buffs for himself. Double kill for the Fiora, 5 and 1. Just a huge game for Fiora. Seratol. Oh, they picked up a kill on Thresh too during that. Wow. Man, running around doing. RPC Stinko going in on the uh, Zerath. Looks like this might be another kill. Yeah. Yeah, the speed boost is up in a second. Oh. <clears throat> and uh, I like this max here by RPC Stinko. Lunge and then burst of speed. More common max is to max repost first or, or repost second after lunge. But I think that this max is better in the mid lane. The skill order. So I like his choice of X and burst to speed second. You gotta wonder if maybe the Fiora mid pick caught. Uh, tits are OP off guard. Oh, I just think they yeah. were expecting the Fiora top. Hines were yeah, getting caught know. out and fell flashes here. In a bit. Yeah, that's uh, that's another kill for Nipplebot. Spot. Yeah, Nipplebot pretty big, three and two. Yeah, the, the the problem is is you've got Dirk in sixteen and drink the weed both at O two. Zero tall. Ooh, and double kill. Oh. Can't get the kill and drink the weed though. Had the IE, didn't get the crit. Einsward coming in. RAPC's Dinko has Blade Waltz. Could probably just fight them 1v2 right now. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of damage there. I don't I don't know where Nipplebot's headed. Maybe maybe to execute. No. Teleport. Okay. Oh, Blade Waltz is a bit of a waste of an ultimate there. Heinzboard had the knock up to stop the TP. Yeah. But you know, with a brutalizer, the cooldown isn't very long anyway. Yeah, it's just about a minute and a half. <clears throat> Seven and one on this Fiora, four and two on the Jinx. Nice bind by Taros. Zeratol yeah. misses the Zap. Uh, he's gonna get the stun but here. The stun's gonna happen. Double stun with the Chompers, and that'll be another kill. Drink the Weed. Not a very good game for Drink the Weed. Very surprising. Yeah, he was he was their diamond. He was their one their lone diamond player too. Zeratol and Terras, the synergy is just too strong. It looks like Pumpkin Spice is setting up for the dragon, which has just gone live. They're gonna try and rotate over, maybe. I don't know if I'm not sure if uh, Tits or OP can contest this though. Definitely not. It's a 10k gold lead. They're just all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh wow! The shield is just enough. Zelcor going in. Zareth goes for the ulti, but doesn't get- Wow, so close there from Drink the Weed's ultimate. Both Taros and Zelcor incredibly low. RPC Stinko takes uh, Titsuro P's red buff. Looks like Zero Toro will be pushing up the top lane turret. All inner turrets will be, will be dropped. 
Spice. Yeah, Fiora and Jinx can, uh, together, they can push down a tower pretty, very fast. Yeah, I mean, uh, Fiora has 105% attack speed buff, and Jinx's attack speed buff right now is 110%? 130%. So, just yeah. huge attack speed buffs on both champs. <laughs> And 130%? Are you serious? That's insane. On Jinx? <clears throat> yeah. I didn't yeah, realize it's, that it's... with minigun it's that high. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it's got a stack, but I mean, that only takes two seconds, you know? I guess the real thing, the problem is that her range at that point is so low. Yeah. I mean, it's only 525. I, I don't think there's anything that Tetsuro P can do about this Baron here, and this is going to be... This is going to be really tough to defend once they, once they pick it up, especially with Jinx and Fiora. They're going to push down towers really fast. And that's the other thing. You look at the itemization. You got Zero Tor has an Infinity Edge, Berserker Greaves, and a Zeal up on, on Graves, who has just a, a BF Sword and a Pickaxe. Oh wow, he doesn't even have IE yet. Oh my yeah. God. This game is uh, yeah. So this quite the quite the stomp so far. Yeah. Really would not have thought so considering that double kill top, but but then nipple box oh, down for ten seconds. You you oh, think they're gonna keep going here? Just figured, just figured the team fights. Yeah, that dragon fight was definitely the turning point for them. They might try and just finish out here. Zelkor jumps in, gets the ultimate. RPC Stinko's ulting <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, that was, this is a little deep here for... Rash, for they might stuff. turn this. Zeratol is still full health, though. Yeah, that, that ended up being a 3 for 2 in uh, Tetsuro P's favor. Zelkor went a little bit deep there. Yeah. Oh, never mind. They're, they're in a turn. I wonder if they can... Oh my. Zyrtol going in! The 1v3! He's got it. Oh! So close. Pulls out a double kill there. Gonna push down this tower. Teleport coming in from Lissandra. And Rek'Sai coming in. But oh, no. <laughs> almost instantly dies. <laughs> Zero total dominating right now. Ten and two. Yeah, really taking over this game. That that'll probably do it here. I don't think uh, there's anything that Tetsuro P can do about this. Zelkar with the Zanyas. Oh, and, and the ultimate. Frozen two. Zero total takes the Nexus.